it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I can't believe the details of our deal were leaked! You humans have really done it this time! You will pay for this! My comrades will be avenged! Take this! What? It's not working! It's quite rare to find an analog wireless detonator with no password protection. An attack mage? How did you find me so fast? Did you honestly believe that you could get away? You're quite full of yourself, aren't you, stray cat? From what I've gathered, you work for Christoph Bardos, don't you? Survivor of the Black Death Emperor faction. Well done for getting here this far. You're dead! What? You won't be able to do that. She can control space with magic? Impossible. It takes a sorcerer of the highest order to pull that off. You couldn't be the Witch of the Void, Minamiya Natsuke! <laughs> I am somewhat interested in terrorists from the Warlord's Dominion, but I'll leave the interrogating to the Island Guard. I need to prepare for tomorrow's classes. What the? Mom's back home already? I thought she said she was swamped with work, so she's stuck in the lab until next week. Nagisa! Is mom back home? If so, we need coffee for- <gasps> Three people. Huh? W why are you here, Himoraki? Uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Senpai, are you feeling okay? I'll survive. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to peep or anything. No, all of this is my fault. Uh, it was? I already knew you were a massive pervert. So I should have realized that you might wander in like that and act as if it were an accident. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Don't say that, Yukina chan! If you forgive a pervert like him so easily, then it's just gonna get to his head, and he'll do it more- I already told you that it was an accident! You didn't knock <laughs> before entering, so how is it an accident? Plus, I already told you that Yukina-chan was coming over this morning. Oh yeah, I vaguely remember you saying that. But what for? You didn't listen to me at all, did you? Uh... You told me something? I know <laughs> I did! We were doing the measurements and fittings for our ball game tournament uniforms! Why do you need uniforms for a ball game tournament? Did you listen to anything at all? Cheerleaders? Yeah! Every boy in our class dropped to their hands and knees and begged Yukina-chan to do it. 
They said they would fight to the death and win if their princess would root for them while wearing a cheerleader uniform. Seriously, all of them? Please do this for us! They asked with such sincerity and passion that I didn't have the heart to tell them no. Because of that, you're going to cheer alongside her? I'd feel bad seeing her do it all by herself. Huh? Wait, did you not want us to cheer for you too? What? No way. Huh? Why not? It's just a ball sports tournament, you know? If I had someone cheering for me dressed up like that, I'd be embarrassed as hell. <laughs> embarrassing? Really? Uh, no, if I saw you cheering me on, I wouldn't be embarrassed. I'd be energized. So basically, you'd be embarrassed if you saw me cheering you on. Where the hell did you pull that from? No. What I meant is, there's no point to going through all that trouble just to cheer for me. You're so not honest. Uh-huh. Okay then, we're gonna be cheering you on as well. Let's go, Yukinu-chan. Mm -hmm. See ya. Okay. <sighs> Morning, Kojo. Hey. Here you go. Thanks. Wait, what is this? Rackets? To practice for the ball sports tournament. The gear in the school wasn't really the best, so I asked my sister if I could borrow hers. Wow, Asaka, you're pretty thoughtful sometimes. What do you mean by sometimes? You do know what people call me around here, right? The high school beauty who looks out for her peers, Asaki-san. You do realize a high school beauty who looks out for her peers wouldn't call herself that. Oh, put a sock in it. In all honesty, I actually borrowed this gear from Odin. So if you want to thank someone, you should go and thank her. They were quite heavy, so I didn't feel like carrying them. One of my a pack mule? I never said I'd carry them for you. So, Kojo, what event did you decide to take part in? I don't know. I just asked Tsukishima to put me in whatever event she thought looked the easiest. Come on, Kojo. The ball sports tournament is the one thing guys who used to be in sports clubs are good for. You really should put more effort into this. Hey, there you are. Huh? What perfect timing, showing up here with gear in hand and alongside your partner. I guess Lady Luck really has a thing for you two, huh? Are you as lost as I am? What the hell is this? Huh? Why exactly do I have to be paired up with Kojo? This year is actually going to have a new arrangement. More mixed double matches were added in exchange for singles. That didn't answer my question. Tell me, why do I have to be paired up with him? That's easy. Because you said you were in love. Huh? With badminton. Ugh. And a consequence that he didn't care which sport he ended up in, so it seemed perfect. Damn you, Odin! I never said I loved... Loved what? Badminton! I just had to practice with my sister sometimes is all. But you know the rules of the sport. You don't mind, do you, Akatsuki-kun? Well, it seems easy enough, so I don't mind. <laughs> Alright, that settles it then. Give them hell, you two! Why are you involved in all of this? Thought I'd lend a hand is all. I see now. So all of this was your doing, Motoki? You're part of the Kano Alchemical Industry Development Branch, Nakamura Yosuke, correct? Who are you exactly? You can't be here. This is a Class 6 restricted area. Head researcher Makimura, we have reason to believe that some of your lab supplies violate the Magical Trade Control Code and must be confiscated effective immediately. Huh? Uh, ho ho hold on a minute. Uh, there must be some kind of mistake. There's nothing like that here- Christoph Gardos. <coughs> There's no point in lying to us. We've already restrained one of your underlings recently. <laughs> <laughs> Black Death Emperor faction again. Stand back. Astarte, I need you to restrain him, but you can be as rough as you want with him. Understood, ma'am. Uh, a homunculus? You must be out of your mind if you think a brat like you can stop me. Execute Rhododactylus. Uh, a familiar? Impossible. How can a homunculus wield a familiar?
Instructor Minamiya, thank you for your assistance. No need to thank me. The rookie's the one who did the work. Thank her instead, huh? This is the smuggled article? Where's the original? Unable to determine location. I presume that the original is no longer located within this facility. We were too late. They got away. Ugh. Nala Kuvera? What exactly are you planning? Christoph Gardos. I will say, having a cute girl like you as my chaperone was most unexpected. Anyways, have preparations been made? Yes, I have no intention of hiding anything. Because the fourth progenitor is... our enemy. Does this look too short to you? The uniform? Did you get the wrong size? Don't tell me you've grown in certain places so it doesn't fit you now. That's not it. We're just practicing here. I don't see why I have to wear this. Hurry up and put it on. You don't want to keep a Katsuki-kun waiting long. Hmm. I was surprised, though. I thought he would complain about having to practice. When it comes down to it, he loves competition. He can be such a child sometimes. Is that right? Mm -hmm. You sure that's not the case? Now listen here. Hurry up. Get changed so we can go. Fine. <laughs> Wow, hmm? you have such nice legs. <sighs> you look really cute. It suits you. Y you think? It's just like Yase-kun said. You can't let that middle school transfer student beat you. You gonna tell me why you're bringing up Himiragi all of a sudden? I think you know exactly the reason why I mentioned Himiragi, Yasagi. Well, I'm off to the table tennis match. Good luck to you. Yeah, yeah. Be confident in yourself. Eh? W what is she talking about? <laughs> Wait, what am I thinking? Why do I have to do this? Stupid Kojo. How's this? That's good. You're too close. I know. Yeah, I can see why Asaki would be mad about this. Oh, Akatsuki-kun. Where's Ibasan? Well, looks like she's late. You can start without us. I'll be doing some stretches till she gets here. All right. Maybe I should come up with some excuse to get out of it and go home. No, Asaki would probably yell at me again if I did that. <laughs> <laughs> What the? Who is that? Where are they shooting from? <laughs> Shit, this is bad. Now what? If I use my familiar, this fight would be a piece of cake. But if I do that, the school will be... Senpai! Get down! Himuragi! Are you alright, Senpai? Yeah, thanks to you. But what are you doing here? My Shikigami. It detected an aggressive power nearby. Hold on. Is that Shikigami how you've been able to keep an eye on me this whole time? It's my job. You can relax. I'll make sure to protect your privacy. Like hell I can relax! More importantly, Senpai, do you know who might have attacked you? I don't have a clue. What the hell were those things? They were Shikigami. They're normally just used to relay messages to people that are far away. So that level of aggression is really concerning. Huh? <laughs> They've seen the Snowdrift Wolf. I need to catch them and erase their memories. 
Relax, it's all right. You look like a girl in bad cosplay right now. At least to normal people. <laughs> Don't stare at me, senpai. Why? You're wearing tights. That doesn't mean you're allowed to look. I don't trust those eyes of yours. Whatever you say. <clears throat> Himaragi. What is it? You said that those shikigami are normally just used to relay messages to people, right? Yes. Does that mean that this is for me? Uh, wait, that seal. It can't be. Uh, hold on, do you know who this is from? Yes. But it can't be. Kojo! Hmm? Uh... Um, am I interrupting something? Huh? Uh, interrupting? I'll leave you two to talk. I don't want to seem like a third wheel. See you inside, Kojo. Hey, Asagi! What's up with her? Lord Dimitri Vatler of Ardale? Ardale is one of the principalities of the Warlord's Dominion. Warlord's Dominion? A dominion in Eastern Europe. It's controlled by the First Progenitor. You know about the First Progenitor, the Lost Warlord, don't you? He's the vampire who controls 72 familiars, right? Yes, that's correct, but it's also believed that the Sacred Treaty established to allow humans and demons to live alongside each other come to pass through this cooperation. So, am I right in thinking that this Vatler serves under the First Progenitor? But this is way too many onions! Don't be picky now. <sighs> Since he rules a principality, that means he's a noble. So, in other words, he must be a pure-blooded vampire, born from the First Progenitor's bloodline. What's a big shot like him doing on Itogami Island? Got your point card? Yes, right here. If I had to guess why he's here, it's probably to meet you. I see you two sure are close, aren't you? Huh? I see you two here shopping every day. We're not close in the slightest. We have our meals under the same house, so it's only natural for us to go shopping together, right? The same house? It can't be. At your age? Huh? huh? That lady seemed really surprised. You know why? I don't. But forget that. What are you going to do about Lord Ordeal? Well, from all that you've said, it looks like I don't have a choice other than accepting his party invitation. Hmm? Is something wrong? Well, it says here that I should bring my partner along with me to the party. Your partner? I'm not surprised. It's typical to attend parties with your spouse or lover in the West. So you'll have to think hard about who you'll be taking with you. Let's see. I can't take Nagisa or Osaki, so they're off the table. For situations like this, I think it's best to invite someone who knows what you are and can defend themselves if things get dangerous. And the party is today, which means I'll have to ask... I guess Natsuki-chan. Huh? Wait, what? Why is Minamiya-sensei the only one you can ask? Because she knows who I am, and she's an attack mage. So she's perfect, right? With that logic, there's someone else you can ask! There's someone else who could go with you! Hmm? You don't mind if I ask you to come? Well, it is my job to observe you, senpai. Uh, I just realized. I don't have anything to wear to a party. Eh? <laughs> what are you laughing about? Nothing. I just thought you sounded like Cinderella there. It's nice seeing your girly side. I'm home. Hmm? The Lion King organization? They sent you something? Mm hmm? A dress. Order made party dress. Bust 76. Waist 55. Hip 78. C60. Hmm? Wait a minute, are these your... You better stop there if you don't want this to hurt more than it should. Eh? Ah! Oceanus Grave. A grave on the ocean, huh? Maybe consider a name change. Um... Hmm? Are you sure? I don't look weird in this dress. No, not at all. Wait, why are you pointing that at me? You had a perverted look in your eyes when you said that. No, I didn't! Besides, isn't it easier for you to move around in that dress? Your face screamed ulterior motives when you said that. My face did no such thing! Also, make sure to fix your hairpin. It's crooked. <laughs> if you don't mind, where did you get that hairpin? 
This pin? My roommate back in High God Forest gave it to me as a gift. Yeah? A sword shaman? Oh no. She's not a sword shaman. But she is another type of attack mage. I wonder what she's up to now. Ugh. Compared to everyone else, we're so out of place here. When a messenger of the first progenitor visits this island, the first one to greet him should be the fourth progenitor. You really need to be more bold. I'm just a high school student, you know. Cut me some slack. So, where is this guy? It doesn't seem like he's here. He's probably upstairs. Let's go. Um... Where is he? There's no one up here. Huh? Himuraki! <laughs> Sentai! I didn't sense its presence. That was very well done. It would seem a familiar of this level couldn't harm you even a little. I deeply apologize for my method of testing you. It was extremely rude of me. My name is Dimitri Valter. I have been granted the honor of lordship over Ardell by my progenitor, the Lost Warlord. So you're Valor, huh? Good evening, my friend. I'm pleased to meet you, Katsuki Kojo. No, Kaleid Blood. My beloved fourth progenitor. Wait, Senpai, you don't mean you want to uh, do it again? From the Warlord's Empire, too.